everybody, Fletch from All Things Overlanding here. On today's episode of 3 Minute Thursday, I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite new purchases, and that's the Marchway Folding Chair. Um, so if you want to learn more about this chair, if you want to see it in action and how to set it up, stay tuned. <music> like the old style ones that you can get at Walmart that are you know probably about the height of a big umbrella um, they're huge they're bulky they're hard to get back in the bag um, or if you had one of the bigger you know more cushy nicer ones they're the, the type that you push down on the center of the seat and it folds out um, those things are basically just folded in half but they're still full size so like my Coleman chair for example is you know probably about that wide and about that tall um, and it just folds in half so it's flat but it's still you know the sides of a really small card table um, this thing actually fits in my drawers in the back of my truck so it's tiny which is amazing so let me show you a couple features of this thing it's got a handy little carrying handle on the, the top there it's also got some sort of like molly-esque webbing here so you could either attach it via that or you could attach stuff to it like if you had a little pocket knife or anything that would work with molly stuff you could use that to attach stuff to this bag which is cool um, so when we unzip it here I messed with this the other day. I've only put it together once, so don't judge me, okay? But so, from the bag, it just all comes out like this. And I mean, like I said, it is just tiny, right? So, check this thing out. So basically what it is, is it's a web seat and then some aluminum poles. It's got this nice Velcro over it so that it holds them all together so they don't, you know, they're easier to put back in the bag and, and it doesn't go everywhere. But here's all you do. Undo the Velcro. And then they kind of start to pop into place themselves. So they have these little bungee cords that hold them in the right place. So there's no way that you can get them wrong or, you know, put them in the wrong hole or anything like that. You basically just sort of similar to like a tent. Like you can see these ones have already all popped in for the most part. Um, but that's it. That's all there is to it. So basically you line up your legs there, right? And you would set this up with the tall part at the back. And I'll get a little closer to you here. You can see these on the back here, they like really strongly reinforce these corners with like sort of a vinyl material so it's really thick and, and durable. This thing gets great reviews online. Um, so like one tip for this chair is the Marchway name goes down the side and you'll know this is the side because it has a little bag for like holding drinks or foods or books or anything like that. Um, so make sure you're putting it on right. Um, but so then you just put these these little holders on the sticks. Now the first time I did this it was really difficult to do. Um, they say that it will be like that the first couple times you do it until you kind of stretch it out because they want it to be tight so that it, it uh, holds you up, right? But so I almost feel like I'm gonna break it when I'm pushing on it hard but it's really stout and you really can't hurt it unless you're doing something really wrong. Um, so you may have to give it a little bit of elbow grease here to get it to go in the first couple times. Um, but then once you do and you stretch it out and you get used to it, it's a piece of cake. But so, you know, that's what the chair looks like. I'm kind of on a hill here, but I will try and sit down and show you guys. But I mean, it's actually a pretty nice little comfy chair. Um, again, I'm about 220, it holds my weight. So if that helps you with the reference point, that's cool. All right guys, so now it's the next morning. I'm getting ready to, to pack up and leave. So I wanted to show you how easy it is to put the Marchway chair away. So you saw the other day, I had a little bit of trouble putting it together, mainly because it's brand new and it still hasn't stretched out. And again, don't be afraid to, to push it. Like it's not gonna break, it's really strong. Um, you just kind of have to give it a little bit of an extra stretch, but taking it down is even easier. So I wanted to show you just how quick that can be. Um, one thing I did want to mention after sort of sitting in it all day yesterday, Compared to my Coleman chair, it's definitely not as comfortable. So, you know, that Coleman director style chair that folds out is definitely more comfortable. It has a higher back on it and it sits a little taller. If you are someone with like bad knees or bad back or anything like that, like this thing is really low to the ground. Um, so it, it can be kind of difficult to get up out of. Like I was just cold yesterday. I'm not, you know, unable to move, but I was just chilly and getting up out of the chair was a little bit of a challenge. <clears throat> So I did want to mention that. Um, but overall though, still for the small size of it, if you're going to like a kid's sporting event that you're just going to be at for like an hour or so, 
or something like that, these would be fantastic. If you're going camping and you're probably going to be with a bunch of people and standing around a fire and drinking beers and chatting, and you just need something to sit in when you get tired, this would be a good option. If you're going on a camping outing that where you're going to be sitting a long time, like four, five, six hours a night just sitting and chatting and stuff, you probably want something more comfortable. So anyways, let me show you how to take this down. It's basically just the same thing in reverse, right? But I just want to show you how easy it is. So you pop off the fabric and it just pops right off there. And then basically what you're gonna do is, or what I do is I kind of just fold it in half and then I'll wrap it around this. So just like tent pegs, these just all come out of here and kind of go flat. That comes out, this comes out, this comes out like that um, so they all come out and then they basically if you fold them around the middle that's kind of your goal is to just get everything down to the middle so you can see here like that but now all the poles are in the middle and then you just take your little velcro strap here and wrap it around them all just like that and then you take the webbing and you just wrap it around it kind of like a tarp or a tent or something wrap it straight around there just like that and you're done you pop it in the bag here which I will also say you know I think all of us anyone that's ever camped with like a tent or a tarp or anything like that they always make these bags so they're just barely big enough for the stuff to go back in and this is no different but it's a little bit easier right like as you can see here I didn't have to like re-roll it six times to get it to fit right it just kind of goes right back in there and then you're done and again it's about the size of your forearm right for this whole folding chair so if small size is important to you if quick putting together and quick taking down is important to you this is a good chair if comfort is important to you maybe go with something different so hope that helped you guys hope that's uh, good information for you and kind of gives you a good idea of this chair if you like the video please click the like button below um, comment below and let me know what chairs you guys use and if you don't already subscribe to the channel um, I do gear reviews like this every week and I also do a vlog slash podcast talking about overlanding stuff vehicle modification trip reports kind of everything to do with off-roading overlanding four-wheel driving and camping so hope you guys enjoyed hope you learned something and get out there live learn discover and we'll talk to you soon